It is July 23rd. It has been quite a year so far. We've had a problem queen. We've had a great hive over here. We've had an Italian hive that came back from the dead. And today's the day I'm going to decide if we put on some supers. So first thing, it's been two weeks since I've been in the Italian hive. I'm going to open these bees up and I'm going to see what they've done uh, with that second box I put on two weeks ago. Hopefully that thing is all filled out. We got a ton of bees in there. Russian hive left. I am hoping that my comb factory in that upper box has been successful. They've had about a week and a half. Uh, I'm hoping that they drew out a bunch of comb up there. Uh, possibly even some brood that I can transfer over to hive right to see if we can build this hive up a little bit more. But the big thing today is we're, I'm hoping to get on some supers. This is kind of our chance. Uh, we do have goldenrod poking up in the uh, wildflower field. We've got buckwheat that is in full bloom over here. And they're, all the other fall wildflowers are starting to come up. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's getting to be almost August. In August and September, we actually have quite a lot of flowers around here. So there's a bit of a flow. I'm hoping to get the supers on today and hoping to get some honey. Let's take a look at the Italians first. I have not been in here in over two weeks. So yeah, last time I was in here, I added the second box and that's all I have done. They've been without food for over two weeks. Hello, Italian bees. Look at that beautiful hive. Really like totally back from the dead. They had a long winter. It was the survivor hive. They survive with a cluster right here, about as big as a softball. I'm going to use my little hivey hangy things here. Nothing in that frame, nothing on that frame. Okay, another empty one. Oh, nothing in here. Oi. What is up, bees? No syrup, no honey, nothing in the first four frames. I don't think this hive is getting supers today. This is a pollen frame. A lot of bees, but they're still, they're not, they're not storing anything here. Either that or they're getting robbed. Whoa, there's nothing on these frames. All right, this frame is full of eggs. Okay, a little capped brood. A lot of capped brood. More Tons more capped brood. I think my queen might be in the upper box. A little bit of honey. Tiny little bit. No queen down here. So a lot of empty frames in this box. And uh, no, very, almost no stored honey. Again, a lot of empty frames. Not doing anything with the frames. All right, there's nectar on this frame. Very first bit of nectar I've seen. I'm wondering if these bees need to be fed because they just, they have no stores at all. Brood, tons of brood. So this is in the last two weeks. This frame's covered. There's the queen. Just amazing. Yeah, there's eggs all over this frame. Brood and pollen, and this is a heavy one. Tons of brood. There's the, there's the honey. There is some nice, that's being capped as we speak. All right, they do, they are capping some honey, uh, but they don't have much in here. Tons of empty frames. So let's think about what we're gonna do here. Queen is up here laying. We got a ton of brood up here. Those bees are about to, if they once they all hatch, we're gonna have a lot of bees in here. Frames are drawn. They're just not using them because they haven't gotten over there yet. I think I'm gonna let them just keep doing what they're doing because they're expanding in their own way. But what I'm gonna do is give them a little bit of syrup because they just need to build. There's pollen in here. There's a little bit of capped honey, but they don't have a lot going on in this hive and they have a ton of brood. And that queen is still laying. All right, this is the plan. I'm gonna give them a little bit of syrup for one week. 
and let them fill up some of these these uh, these frames with syrup. And then I'm going to check on them. And if they've filled up some things with syrup, and I feel like their brood box has got stores in it, next week I'm going to try and maybe put on a super. Because a lot of these bees are going to be hatching over the next week or so. So that's the plan. All right, Russian hive left. Let's see how our comb factory is doing. So about a week and a half ago, I checked on this third brood box and they were they had just started touching it. Hello. See if they've drawn anything. If they haven't, I'm going to checkerboard. Again, they're just it's like they're just same thing on all the frames. All right, I'm going to do some checkerboarding of these. Yeah, you got these things braced together like crazy. Mm. Wow, this is heavy. I can't get a grip. Oh gosh, there's the queen. Whoa. The queen was on this frame. All right, I gotta get another frame out. Queen is on that frame. Yikes. I gotta get the queen back in. Queen, you're going back in the box. She's there, okay. Queen is there and she's up against this wall. All right, there's uh, 16 frames in this box and I picked the one that she's on. Queen is here. Yeah, this is all brewed up here in stores. All right, this is gonna go right up against where the queen is now. She's getting a blank frame right next to her. Then we'll leave this one here. We'll bring this one up. So there's a lot of drone comb up here and a lot of honey. Okay, so another blank frame down here. No, I'm gonna just put a couple in there. We put, uh, now we put brood up here. All right, so we've checkerboarded. We saw the queen. Uh, I did not go in the bottom box because I know the queen is laying and the goal here is just to get these bees to start drawing more comb. And hopefully they will do that now that there are bees up here hanging out looking for something to do. Okay, Russians, do your thing. All right, over to hive right. New queen's been in here for three weeks now. I'm beginning to think that um, I'm not going to get much of a honey harvest this year. I mean, that's just sort of a thought I have. So, a lot of eggs there. That's all eggs. That's nice. Nothing new happening here. I can feel heat coming out of this hive. That's nice. Brood larva and eggs all over that frame. This is the old crappy nuke comb I was talking about. It's just, it's just kind of gross. Just gotta go. But I need, I need hive left to build me some comb. That, that's new queen right there. There's no queen there, but I'm saying that's the new queen work. Look at that. That is some brood right there. And we got a queen cell here, a queen cup, tons of drone comb, one queen cup, and some honey. All right, not a ton of drawn out comb this week. Four empty frame of uh, undrawn comb here, just foundation. All right, I'm just gonna have a quick look below, down here, see if I see a queen. See what they have, if they have any stores down here. That's a frame from the old flow hive last year. 
This actually was full of honey when I put it in. It's empty now. See, they're just not drawn comb. Do they need sugar too? Do they need, do they need syrup? All right, I lost my battery there. I don't know how much of that, uh, I don't know how much you missed there. This is a beautiful frame of brood here. And this frame here, I just pulled out. This is full of pollen. And the queen is on this frame. She's right here. This, is, this frame is, is filled with pollen. Packed. Hoping maybe, uh, maybe see some eggs here. Just starting to draw it out. <sighs> All right, you're gonna hate me, but I'm thinking syrup. I mean, let's look at the facts. Uh, they're not storing anything. There's no nectar. There's a little bit of old, old honey. You know, teeny bits of nectar. There is pollen, but they're not drawing any comb. I'm thinking I wanna give them some nectar, some syrup. And you can let me have it in the comments. But I believe we are in a July dearth right now. And I really want these bees built up for the fall. I want this hive to be filled with comb and ready for a bit of a flow in August. And we've got, we still have undrawn frames here in, a, in our second brood box. So that's my thought. Definitely not supers. Going back to syrup. Again, there's nothing stored in these empty frames that are drawn. We got a bit of a dearth here. Queen is laying eggs, we know that. I think she'd be laying more eggs if she had more comb built. And if there was the impression of nectar coming in. And I think that's the problem. Right now there's not a lot of nectar coming in. So there it is. I mean, seriously, what would you do? What would you do? We got three hives. Uh, hive left is doing great. I checkerboarded the frames, so hopefully they draw out some of the comb that needs to be drawn out. There are eight undrawn frames in there that I'd like them to draw out. Italian Hive is about to have an explosion of new bees. Uh, they have almost no honey stores at all. They've got one frame of honey that they're starting to cap out of 20 frames, and they've got a ton of brood. So there's, there's no nectar in there. Hive right, same deal. There's, uh, there's a lot of brood. Uh, there are four or five completely untouched frames that are not being drawn out, but a lot of brood. And there are a lot of bees in there that could be drawing comb, and they're not. And I don't know, the queen is not laying probably as much as she could, but that's also because there's, we're probably in the middle of a dearth right now. The goal here is to build up strong hives. The goal is not for me to get a ton of honey. The goal is to get these hives <laughs> to survive and get through the winter. That's the goal here. If I get honey, I get honey. If I don't get any honey and these hives make it and survive through the winter, I'm happy. I can expand. We can get stronger hives when we start next year. We can get a spring flow. All, all these bees were behind. They, all these bees missed our spring flow. They completely missed it. I didn't even have the nukes during the spring flow, and the Italian hive was like this big during the spring flow, so I wasn't getting any honey for our, our spring. Um, I'm hoping maybe these bees can do something for our fall flow. We are gonna, we're about to get some goldenrod coming in here, which will go through, you know, into September, so we got a good month of that. But uh, they, these hives have to be stronger. They've gotta be stronger. I'm gonna feed the bees some syrup, for like a week, maybe two weeks, through the first week of August, when we are in a dearth, and uh, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a super queen excluder. Hopefully, they can go up into that next box, and we can get some kind of flow going on here. I, I'm just. So we live in Massachusetts. I started the season with, you know, a, basically a softball-sized cluster of bees, and this is where we are now. Uh, I don't know if I, what I'm doing with flow frames. I, I'm, you know, I'm being honest with you here. 
going through this together, this is my experience. Uh, I don't think the bees are slow because of something I've done. Uh, I think it's just the bees and the weather, you know? It's the reality of, of, of the situation, you know? I'm doing everything I can here. I would like to taste honey from these hives, you know? I mean, that's sort of a goal, but I would rather have the hives be very strong in the fall and live through the winter and then start off very strong in the spring. I'd rather have that than a few pounds of honey. So that's what, that's, that's what I'm going for here. Plus, this is a journey, you know? This isn't, uh, this is, you know, <laughs> you're, watching, you're watching a journey. You're watching an experience here. So I'm sorry I'm not harvesting honey. Uh, I don't live in Georgia. Um, I, uh, I live in Massachusetts. And this is, this is, this is, this is life. So that's it for now. I'm going to go put some syrup on these hives, and I will see you in August. Have a great day.